Okay, so video dropped. We're gonna see if we can finish this off. Um, so if, you ha if you're if you chiming in now, check out my previous video, Connection Drop. That's what happens when everybody in the world is at home watching Netflix and on the internet doing God knows what. Um, so basically, I think what's important is if you're gonna do homeschooling, whether it's self-directed or e-learning, um, is to start where your child is. I, I really think this is an opportune time instead of seeing this as just, it's a total nightmare. It's a time to tailor your child's learning to what they actually need or, or want. Um, this is what so many of us have always wanted and this is the time to do it. And I really think, you know, if we could ask ourselves, like what if we saw this as a gain in our child's education instead of a loss? Like I see so much about, you know, initially before, but you know, my child's gonna lose out on this and my child's gonna miss out on this. But what if this was an opportunity for this generation to develop real world life learning skills um, that is totally different from what other generations, or I don't wanna say a whole bunch of other generations, but the last couple of generations have missed out on. Um, you know, So this is to me is the gift of time uh, for, for some of us, I know not all of us have that opportunity, but to teach our kids meaningful things, to teach our kids the things that we feel like schools have failed to teach them. So, you know, I don't, I don't know about you, but I remember when kids, myself included, used to learn really practical things like home ec and, and woodworking and all kinds of stuff. And uh, that's not happening in sc most school systems now. So get them involved, do cooking with them because now maybe you have the time. I know sometimes we're like, yeah, I'd rather just do it myself. It's easier. Um, if you're gonna plant a garden, if dad's home because he's doing a pro and he's got time off and he can do a project or he's building, this is the time for kids to do real world hands-on learning. And basically not to think of it as um, it's not school at home, think of it as life school, that it's a chance for kids to um, also self-direct their learning, right? We, we put too much emphasis on that kids don't know what they need to know. And um, what if we, you know, had the opportunity to get kids to basically choose, you know, he's always been really into this. Now we have the time. Let's, let's go for it. Um, there's a saying going around, right, in education that um, we, if a kid is weak in math, we, in really strong language, what we do is we get the tutor for the math instead of saying, you know what, they're really good at language, let's just keep building up their area of genius. Um, and so those areas of genius and so forth could be something as simple as something outdoorsy. It doesn't have to be complicated. And I think we need to ask ourselves why we live in a time where we think that algebra is more of a priority than learning how to cook or you know, why geometry is more important than gardening or you know, fixing the car or learning how to paint properly or whatever the case may be. And I'm not saying those other things are not important. For sure, we have people who wanna go into those fields and we don't want them to miss out on those opportunities. But I think we need to recheck our mindset um, and ask ourselves why we feel like kids are missing out on something instead of, and instead see it as they have a chance to gain. Um, an education that you know so many kids are not getting the time to do and so forth and so many parents have had the experience where they want to be able to teach their kids these things but they don't have the time and many of us at this point are fortunate enough to be home and to be able to do that time uh, or to spend that time with our kids uh, you know to teach them those things and it also can be a really nice distraction um, instead of just you know scrolling through the endless, uh, you know, stories and news feeds and so forth on social media and elsewhere. So the bottom line is that regardless of what you're choosing to focus on, whether it's e-learning, whether it's, you know, homework, to keep in mind that you do not have to be your child's certified, you know, curriculum teacher, that you are your child's teacher. You've been teaching them all kinds of things. You've taught them how to, you know, do everything from tie their shoes uh, to, to all kinds of other more complicated things that learning takes place in many forms and it doesn't have to be explicit. It can be, you know, just involving them with whatever activity it is that you are doing. Um, and so there is no right or wrong way to do this. I really think we need to prioritize mental health first and, you know, drop the guilt, drop the, the shame even that this mom is doing that and I'm not and so forth. So until next time, uh, thank you for watching and feel free to check out my website or hop onto my YouTube channel to get more information on how you can help your child 
with learning and behavior. Thanks for watching.